to today's session. So we continue looking at the August 2022 GCE exams prepared by the Examination Council of Zambia. So our question of interest today is question two, which leads simplify. So we're simplifying four P over three Q. We divide by P square multiplied by Q over six, then multiply by P Q over two. So this kind of equation comes in different forms, but it involves simplifying. So we need to think of body mass most often times blackest of division uh, multiplication addition and subtraction so in this case one of division and multiplication so in this case the first thing that we do is to simply to transform this division to multiplication so we have 4p over 3q then we are multiplying by now what is happening is this goes up since we introduce multiplication then this one comes down so 6 becomes the numerator p q squares becomes the denominator so we have 6 over p square multiplied by q then we continue with the origin which is p q over 2. so at this point it's a matter of simplifying the doing the division so 3 into 3 is a 1, 3 into a 6 is 2. Then 2 into a 2 is a 1, like that. So we have those commons. Then we have basically a Q into a Q goes. Then P into P, and this one remains with a P. Then P and P cancels. Then at the end of the day, we end up with basically 4 over Q as our final answer so basically this is how you deal with the first part of question two a so we get those two good free marks then we move to question b so question b leads the first three terms of a geometric progressions are three six and twelve respectively find the nth term so what we know is the GP geometric progression generally is given by A multiplied by uh, R to the power N minus 1. N minus 1 as the geometric progression. So now, from that, we need to find what a is so a is the first term which is basically three in this case so a is equal to three then we need to find r so r is given by a common ratio which is given by the ratio of the first term we divide into the second term then which is also equal to the third term we, do, we divide it by the second term if this is the same then we have a common ratio so in this case, we have 6 divided by 3, we are getting a 2. Then we have the third term, which is 12 divided by 6, we have a 2. So in this case, we have the common ratio, which is 2. So we have a GP equals now A is 3. So we have a 3 multiplied by a 2 less to the power a N minus 1. So this is our nth term. So if n is 1, we just substitute n minus 1 is c. 1 minus 1 is a 0. 2 to the power 0 is a 1. 1 times 3 is a 3. Hence we are getting the first term to be 3. If n is 2, it's 2 minus 1 is c. 1. 2 to the power 1 is a 2. 2 times 3 is a 6. That's how we are getting those terms. So basically this is how we answer question 2b1. Then let us go to question number uh, 2 B Loma Numero 2. So it's asking us to find geometric mean of 96 and 384. So geometric mean of numbers is normally given by these numbers. You multiply them 
so you must try them up to this then you find the, the cube book the nth root so this is geometric progression so in this case we only have two numbers so we are only finding the square root so geometric progression of two numbers now in this case will be uh, just two numbers which is 96 multiplied by 3 uh, 84 then this is the root so basically square root because there are two numbers so when you multiply these two numbers we end up with basically uh, 36,000 so we end up with 36,864 then when you find the square root of this number you end up with basically 192 so this is how you find the answer so that's the answer to uh, b2 question 2 b Roman numeral 2 so let us move to the last question which is the sum of the first eight terms okay so the sum of uh, a geometric progression where the common ratio is greater than e, 2 is greater than 1 the common ratio is greater than 1 is given by sn equals uh, the first term then we have r n r to the power n minus 1 then r minus 1 so what this tells us r is a common ratio and the a is the first term so the first term was 3 then r is 2 to the power n minus 1 over uh, we have 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 so basically it's a 1 1 into everything we just get to 2 now n is 8 so we are finding the 8th term so this one becomes 8 then minus 1 because remember the bottom line this one is just a 1 so 1 into anything we're just getting that thing then when you simplify we get a 3 so 2 to the power 8 is 256 then minus 1 so we end up with 3 multiplied by 255 which basically gives us a 765 so 765 is a sum of the first eight terms of this geometric progression so this is how you answer question number two so remember geometric progression questions are always there finding the nth term finding the sum is always there so if you understand how to deal with this one then you get these three seven six or eight max so thank you for joining us today till next time when we'll be looking at question three completely